Hello friends and Elm Street family. Today is Monday, June the 8th, and it's Miss Jo coming at you from Charlottetown, Prince Edward Island. Today I have a great little resource from centervention.com. I'll, I'll share the, um, the link to the resource in my video description so you can uh, use it if you like, but you can also create this um, on your own. It doesn't have to be printed out and uh, you can actually do it on the computer through Centervention. They're, they're, um, you can edit it on the computer by typing into it. Um, their resources are set up to do that, uh, just in case you don't have a printer, but you can also make your own, just be creative and do your own thing. All right, so today I'm going to present you with a vision board. And this is something that I um, want to make for myself too. And I haven't been doing any of these. I don't think I've ever done one. Maybe, maybe in the past I've done one, but it's been a long time. <laughs> And what it is, it's, it says directions to follow the prompts below and add your vision, add to your vision board by either cutting out pictures from magazines or coloring pictures. So, so you can draw the pictures in there or you can take pictures and put them in there. But um, so what it is, is it's basically setting your intentions to say what it is that you want in your life and the good things that you want in your life. So when we make a vision board, we're making um, kind of a, it's sort of like a visual list of uh, the things that you want in your life. And so some of us are, are visual learners, meaning that we learn more from pictures than we do and seeing things happen than we do from the just words written down. And so vision boards can be great for people who have who are those kind of learners. So it says, I would love to visit. So you can uh, draw or take a picture or put a picture in there of a place that you'd love to visit. So somewhere that um, that you've always wanted to go and that you've not had a chance to. I'd love to go to Hawaii. I think that would be super, super cool. Or Australia. This brings me joy. So we've had some sheets where we um, wrote down things that brought us joy, like wrote the words down. But here uh, you're actually going to put a picture of something that brings you joy. It could be a person. It could be your favorite activity, your favorite book. It could be your puppy, your kitten, your whatever kind of pet that you have that brings you joy. Just something that gives you joy. I'm proud of myself for. So think of something that you're proud of yourself for doing. Um, I'm pretty proud of all of you for doing your schoolwork at home. That's pretty difficult trying to do that um, all on your own without a teacher. <laughs> Excuse me. All right. Um, I would love to be this when I'm older. So this maybe could be like a job or something that you'd like to have or something you'd like to volunteer with. Maybe it's a like a firefighter or maybe you'd like to be, um, I don't know, a pilot or you'd like to have your pilot's license, um, like to fly fun planes or whatever. You Maybe you want a parachute or you want to do something really cool. So... Um, I would like to be this one I'm older and you'd like to be, maybe you'd like to be a writer. So there's lots of different things and you could put whatever kind of picture that you can think of that shows something about that thing. This color makes me feel happy. Ooh, I would put orange in there. I totally would. I would just color the whole thing orange. Orange makes me really happy, but so does purple. Some of my dreams and goals. So some things that you'd like to do in your life. Uh, so that could be places you'd like to go. It could be um, uh, things you'd like to see. It could be, uh, things you'd like to do. Maybe you'd like to, you know, be a really great hockey player or something like that. So that could be a goal for you. So when we set our goals, um, it's really important to do that, to have goals and to set them because do you remember when we did the power of yet and Miss Jo wanted to learn how to tie a, um, how to make a friendship bracelet with the plastic, with the plastic uh, string. And so I had a goal and in order to do it, I wrote it down. I probably wouldn't have done it if I hadn't written it down and said I was going to do it. But when we write down something and say we're going to do it and set a goal, we're more likely to accomplish our goal. And you also put the steps in there, right? Like what is it that you have to do um, in order to make that goal happen? So instead of saying, well, tomorrow I'm gonna to be able to tie a bracelet, um, well, I, I had to learn how, I had to know each step. I had to try it out. I had to be okay with making mistakes and it not coming out perfectly. And, uh, and that's what I did. And then eventually I was able to tie that bracelet. So that's uh, what it's like to set a goal. And you can do that with any kind of goal in life. Anything, it could be a long-term goal, like what something you want to do when, that you can't do till you're an adult, or maybe something that you want to be able to do next week. My kids set a goal to be able to ride a two-wheeler and uh, by their ninth birthday. And um, we worked on it and it happened 
before the ninth birthday, well before, because we knew what we had to do. We had to practice every day. We had to try some different things. We had to try, um, you know, with help and then without, and we had to be okay with making mistakes and falling down sometimes. Yeah, so um, that's it for today. I will link the uh, worksheet in the uh, video description, and I hope to see you tomorrow. Mr. Mr. I was in training all this week, um, and it's really early, so I'm getting up super early to try to make my videos and get them out to you. Uh, so if I miss a day this week, that's why. All right, take care, and I'll see you later.